No, I need to kill this one now. God damn it. Well. Bombs away, baby! <laughs> the trickster just wins, right? <laughs> I can't not do this play. This is the this is the point of of everything in life. We I finally have my revenge. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Bry. So today we're, we're doing a deck that's a long time coming. The idea is to control with tricks, teleport in your binary stars either on turn 6 using a teleport, that will be teleport, binary stars, or on turn 5 if they leave a teleportation zombie alive on the field on turn 5. The reason why it's important to teleport this in is because it's a very expensive card that has huge potential doubling the damage of everything on the field. If you just play this, pops out of the gravestone by the time your trick phase comes the next turn they're probably gonna have a berry blast a hammer uh, there's just so many things that remove this card especially on turn six man uh they're gonna remove the binary stars at all costs but if you teleport it in it'll be protecting the gravestones as long as they don't have one of three one of three cards that remove gravestones in this deck in their hands uh, this is going to pop out, let's say, on turn 7, and then you're going to be able to start bunging, plumbering them in the face. This was do, will do 4 damage. Final Mission is going to do 8 damage when you have a Binary Stars in the field, and Wrath is going to do 6. Uh, you have plenty of minions to Final Mission, everything from the Barrel, which not only is a very good combo in itself, Barrel Final Missions, it'll help control in the early game. Uh, this will explode, do 5 damage to one guy, 1 to all the others, and then create a 4-3 on the field. Really strong combo. You also have the Dance Off and Summoning Minions in order to uh, use those for the final mission. Even Eureka, honestly, usually gives small minions. There's a lot more cheap cards in this game than expensive, so hopefully you'll get at least one cheap card. So there should be plenty of fuel for the final mission, even a Con Man in a Pinch. Running Conman just to kind of lower the win condition. If you play this, they kind of have to answer it, so it takes up resources. Really good turn one play. Uh, we are running card draw because, you know, you need these tricks to control the early game, but then you also need them to finish off uh, in the late game. In order to have a second win condition in this deck, we're running four tricksters. It's sort of secondary. I really want to focus more on the binary stars, but I feel like the trickster makes this deck from being a meme deck to being an actually serious competitive deck. Uh, you can just control with your bungees and with your barrel final missions and your rats and your fruit cakes, uh, and then just teleport a trickster. And if you teleport it and it does 12 damage, if you have binary stars in the field, it really just opens up a whole other way to use the binary too. Uh, you teleport this on six, on turn seven, you just uh, teleport in your trickster. <clears throat> uh, in that case, the trickster is going to do 12 damage plus 12, so 24. It's an OTK. Uh, we've definitely. Oh my gosh. Come on, OBS. This happens way too much. The disconnecting. Are we good? Alright, guys. That was the deck explanation. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you didn't miss anything. My OBS disconnected. Quickly there. Um... These, okay, these games are going to take a long time because we're going to be BMing a lot and going for the OTK with all the tricks. I'm going to do eight games today. If you think this deck will win six out of eight, but yes, five out of eight is going to be a no over here at the live stream. Twitch that, <gasps> did I do it right? Twitch that TV4 slash find map. Again, six or more is a yes, five or fewer is a no. Yes, I did it correct. We're betting channel points at the live stream. You guys know how it works. Why not run Mustache Monument? It's only good with Trickster. We have plenty of teleports. We're running Teleportation Zombie, let's say, instead of Mustache Monument. You're right. If we were focusing on Trickster, I would run Mustache Monument. But because we're not, and there's basically, there's absolutely no other cards that work with Mustache Monument, uh, we're going to skip that and just run the extra teleports. You know, having a lot of teleports for your barrels, you don't always have barrel and final mission. So being able to teleport a barrel in in front of something is really important. Teleport Trickster usually does the same as by as, as Mustache Monument Trickster. In fact, it very often does. Well, it usually have an open lane to do 12 damage. No need to brick. Thank you, Jake, for 58 months. Holy crap. Why are we not getting the game? Let's go. Ready to get into it. I wonder if no environments is a problem. We'll see. 
We could run Trapper territory instead of Conman. It could be anyway, that's a good idea. We'll keep an eye on that. I haven't really found, like, the environments to side game. Sometimes if you're playing more of a tempo deck and they play Black... Yeah, Black Hole, I guess if you're Plants. I don't know even what plant. Sometimes if you're playing like a swarm deck, they put a couple spike weed sectors. But really, what what environment are we worried about? I guess soul patch for force field. Oh, that'll be a thing. Um, soft mulligan for a trickster, maybe. Okay. So again, this is cool. We can either draw cards or answer his haunted pumpkin, or whatever else he plays here. Yeah. Yeah, you want to see card draw? <laughs> Most useless turn one play. Ooh, we top the, the trickster, though. We'll take it. So, teleportation zombie is really good. I wonder if I'm saving this or what. Uh, if he's playing Black Eyed Pea this turn is the most dangerous thing. There's, there's Twin Sunflower, which is really dangerous. You know what? I'm gonna go with my rule. I've been playing a lot of Twin Sunflower ramp decks with like Chumpzilla and such. Um, and I just know I always really want the opponents to play Teleportation Zombie or something like that on turn two so you can play it safely. So that probably is the most dangerous card here. Black IP is a pain in the tush. Um, there probably are more Black IPs than Twin Sunflower, but we can really just pass against Black IP and go from there. We're doing pretty good here. We could set up Barrel. I think I'll just go Barrel Final Mission next turn. So if we really need to bungee, we will. If not, we'll just draw cards. It's fine. That's not a humongous problem. Probably just kill it next turn. Oh, kill it. Oh. <laughs> so, Barrel Mission. Looking really spicy. Is there a reason to not put this on the ground? I guess we really don't want him scorching here. So let's put it on heights. What oh, plant heroes are S tier? Uh, when I made the tier list for all the heroes, you can check that out. Just type in fry them up tier list heroes. Um, I... Let's do this play. Just slow them down a bit. Bungie actually takes us out next turn, which is awesome. This one's technically better. A lot of strike through here. I put Captain Combustible in this tier. Right now, I would probably put Captain Combustible, Grass Knuckles. Rose, yeah, maybe Rose too. Rose, Rose has a lot of a lot of stuff, man. A lot of really strong cards and not a lot of weaknesses. So, probably setting up a teleportation zombie now would be a good idea, so we can teleport in the binary stars. We also could teleport in a tel another teleportation zombie and just bungee here. It, it will block a lane if it doesn't play a strike through. It means we'll have a gravestone one, which is awesome. I think that's what we're going to do here. There's no point in barrel. We'll want to save the final mission for after. Um, we win this trade. This trade doesn't matter. I think I'm doing it like this. And like this. This way we always get a binary stars teleported in next turn. Um, even if he has something to remove this 1-3 here. We're at 13 health. So we're we have a lot of a lot of room to work with. Again, no gravestone removal, so that's a luxury. I'm gonna play binary stars in a lane to chump lock something and then con man to go face here. Every his entire deck is just strike through, okay? <laughs> So I wonder if I should play Con Man. The cool thing about if we set up the binary stars now, uh, Trickster goes face for 12. Sorry, I'm just concentrating here, so I know I'm missing some of these subs here. I'll, I'll try to go back to them in a second, because this is we're, we're planning like one or two moves in advance, as per not usual. All right, well, well, <laughs> okay, we have room for the trickster now. Trickster comes in for 12. Yeah, honestly, now that I'm not nervous, <laughs> that probably was the best play. We have to teleport. 
but uh so we can play trickster regardless all right thank you davuturi for the prime sub did i miss a different one so this is eight you know there's a cool thing where we can just clear his field <laughs> guys we could just kill him with trickster here for a 24 damage combo but what fun would that be I'm going to do it like this. La 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 la. This is going to do 2 damage to everything. So here's a here's a nice 8. Uh. Hell yeah. And then here's a nice 4. And we'll just play con man. That's way more fun for the win. <laughs> Imagine not going, for the sake of BM value, not going for a 24 damage trickster combo. That is how cry -nary this deck is. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Holy crap. <laughs> this deck's got some power. That was a pretty, I mean, a strike through deck. Is that a good matchup for this deck? I guess it is. Oh, the salt. This man just got assaulted. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, into the next game. Let's go into the thick of it. I'm going into the thick of it with your mom. We're off to an extremely good start. You kidding me, man? I don't see why Trickster is not needed. <laughs> I think that Trickster is going to make this deck win all the games. You know what I mean? Or most of them. But every once in a while, let's see. You know what? Let's see the consistency. That's the only thing we're really keeping a major eye on here. Into the thick of it. Dun, 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 dun. Right, I'd like either a Bungie or a, or a Trickster here. Thank you, P Master, for ten dollars and change. Thank you so much. P Meister, sorry. That was nice. Okay, so what about summoning in this deck? I wonder if we go aggressive. I'm not playing this. I think I'll summoning next turn, and we can bungee. It's just if this, you know, if this is grinding down his health, it's also giving him blocks. But if it's grinding down his health, it makes the win condition lower. You know what? I'm going to play this like a proper control deck. We'll be able to get more value out of this probably later. So we're just playing for Bungie here still. Uh, the score the, the, the score is 1. And... There's that. So um, I think I'm actually going to use this now. And if it doesn't have to attack, I'll Bungie. Into the thick of it. Bum, ba -da -da -dum, ba -da -da -dum. So we kill that. If a brainstorm passes on turn two, do not play Twin Sunflowers. I mean, maybe it's the kind of deck that only can utilize Twin Sunflowers that turn exactly, but I don't know, man. So now what? We could develop Con Man. It's a good card against Solar Flare. We have two bungees. I think we're going to end up correcting a trade with a bungee plumber here. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> I guess if he plays, you know, uh, Sunnier Shroom, instead of the one card in Wrath, I'm going to have to spend two bungees. That's fine. So that was a really good trade against that hammer. Like, extremely good. We still got all of our ammunition. We're just trying to... That's the whole thing of the card draw. You're just, like, trying to hold the ammunition in this deck. I'm going to burn a teleport here and teleport in Barrel, perhaps? Maybe we'll just Wrath something, too. For this binary play. Is the point. I'll use a Wrath here. That's a really good Wrath, actually. We're gonna kill the team-up one, which is better than the non-team-up one. I could just bungee. I'm all, almost always gonna bungee this, so let's go. Let's use spend the spend the bag. Do, 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 do. There's a final mission. Um 
So I kind of want to teleport binary next turn. But I also want to... Well, it means I just have Bungie to spend this turn. I think if this guy was doing anything that was scarier... I hope he doesn't just like play an Allosaurus or something. Crazy like that. That's... That's extremely scary. Are you kidding me? So we pass this turn. The cool thing is I can teleport binary to block all of this as long as it's not a strike through minion. <laughs> Into the thick of it. Into the. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's healing. Somebody give me. Somebody give me more final missions. Oh, that's a lot of bungees. Oh wait. So this is eight. Eight is sixteen. We we seriously. If he doesn't. Well, I mean, we might have lethal here. Because 8 and 8, and then 4. We need to just... We're going to 3-tap him. It doesn't matter how much he heals. Literally doesn't matter. So let's put this on heights where it doesn't get Scorched. I have no idea. What, he didn't play a superpower, right? Oh, he, he played Scorched. Never mind. Still, where it doesn't get... a oh, Lawn Mord. Guys, this might just be lethal here. I, I know it doesn't look like much against Double Allosaurus, but think about it. If this bungee four damage can clear this lane, then the other bungee wins. It's gonna be eight. Actually, it, it, bungee four. He has to put a health with seven. He has to put a minion with seven health here. Here, see, he's putting in the wrong lane, guys. Unless he California rolls, that's that's the ball game. It's literally the ball. This does two damage splash, so it doesn't kill binary stars. That's the good thing about that. So here's eight, and he rolled a one. It's guaranteed lethal. Here's four. Guys, this is busted. Twenty to zero, with three Allosauruses on the field. Holy crap! He did not. That was no. That was crazy. I'm in shock. How have we never done this deck before? I mean, we've tried teleport binary into combos, but not quite like this. Or not quite as just narrow vision, or just like, I know the deck has Trickster, but we're like, setting up the combo, we're drawing cards. Now, we have never played it like a Miracle deck before. This is a proper mirror. This isn't Valk. The Mustache Monument Valk, a two-card Miracle. This is a, a five consistent, what is going on? That was crazy. That was nuts. Oh, that's going to be a highlight comp, I think. <laughs> this is mind-blowing. Now I have to think, how do I even mulligan? I guess I get rid of binary. I think you never keep binary stars. Because that bricks you. Ah, oh, mom, mom, mom. That's fine. These are very good cards against Solar Flare. Maybe two is overkill. Alright, we'll keep card draw. Why not? And we have summoning, so that's really good against the aggressive Solar Flare decks. What the hell? I said these day. Yeah, I know. I said we were only doing eight games today because they're taking long. These games have been taking five minutes. I don't even know what's going on. They're trickster now. Trickster. Okay, I'm gonna do the thing where I, you know, he passed turn one, so I have to play around Twin Sunflower. What is that? It's a reincarnation. Holy crap. Can I get two attack wings? Perfect. There's no way. Do I take six damage off the board? Or do I use this next turn? I don't know if our health is a factor. It's a reincarnation. Which is usually not run in aggro decks. He didn't play anything on turn one. He just saw an opportunity. It's so funny how I can actually kill this. It's a difference between us having 12 or 20 health, man. I mean... But it died. There's no tempo. This is hard. This is crazy. You know what? Screw it. I'm probably not going to get the one damage wrath next turn anyway. It's going to very blast this thing. That was the summoning of a lifetime. The one, it's the dream. These things don't even happen, folks. I'm gonna draw cards here. 
I think he's gonna be scared enough of this Gargologist after seeing that one quest wrap that he's gonna go after. He go, oh, he didn't do anything. Okay, great. That was crazy, guys. What is this madness? Now it's turn four, so we set up teleportation zombie. We can even teleport in teleportation zombie and get the guaranteed teleport this one. I think that's better, and then bungee plumber. We don't really need the, the the barrel the barrel to be developed yet. We'll save it. We'll save it for turn seven. For turn six now. Let's see if we get a final mission here. There's no well while he's hacking. He's running all all reincarnations, this guy. That's so annoying. That means tricksters are are, are all dead in the water? No they're not! No they're not! Screw it. I'll delay the whole process one turn and we'll we'll make we'll kill this thing. And our tricksters now are gonna be down to what four and six. Holy crap. So now Oh, so now we teleportation zombie and barrel. He's hacking. This guy's actually ha reincarnation hacking. It's stupid. Come on, man. Come on, man. Wait, but it kills them. Well, I'm going to play one. No, but this actually then kills the teleportation zombie. Oh, how annoying is this guy? Put a 4-4 four, four Snapdragon, great. <coughs> Do I develop one? Alright. Oh, game doesn't count. Usually against hackers, we don't we don't count the game. I'm gonna count this one though. It's usually Admiral Navy Bean or Click Bee hackers. I feel like reincarnation. It's not an OP deck. It's good because every single card you play gets buff stats. It means he has to pass turn one and he's just been past turn three. We're in decent shape for this game here. Wonder if I just like binary stars bungee plumber. Do I teleport in binary? It doesn't really make sense to teleport in binary now that this thing is dying. So I'm gonna actually binary now. Scorch, okay. Screw this hacker, man. We don't even need the buff. Starfruit? Starfruit doesn't do a damn thing. Where did he get Starfruit from? It's from Fruit Cake. Obviously. Okay, keeping binary stars is the priority. Uh, it means his superpower is on the block. Um, well, let's see if he gets button shrooms. Honestly, no, if he clears this lane, we just win with Trickster, Trickster. It's turn 8 now, right? Is it 7 or 8? It's 7. We're really close to winning here. He's just... He doesn't have any tricks, obviously. Just his reincarnations. So it's... 3... Like the does the barrel net is a barrel a net positive? I guess it is. Yeah, it's fine. It'll kill this one, but it gives us a fresh one. This one dies, so this gives us a fresh four damage. And unless he does fourteen damage this turn somehow, uh, we are gonna win. Can he? Maybe he gets growth shroom. Well, if he gets growth shroom, and then for the other one he spends. <laughs> it's not that good, guys. Uh, right now it's guaranteed in fact, he put this in the wrong lane. It's guaranteed lethal because of his placement of the, uh... <laughs> Hackers typically don't have a lot of skill, so he actually just, <laughs> just threw the game by like not... <laughs> I mean, we had Trickster anyway, but... It cared Trickster made it guaranteed in lane one, no matter what there. But anyway... <laughs> well, the con man kills the star for there. Oh, that was good. Yeah, we're counting that one. Alright, so we beat a hacker with this deck. That's nice. Just add it to the list of medals. Valors.
I forgot to add the link when I redeemed show fry your deck. What do I do? Um, just wait till the end of the stream and send the link then. In fact, send it right now and I'll just have it open in my browser and I'll check it again. Okay. <laughs> Hacker misplace. Honestly, I'm not condoning hacking. If I did, it would be against the terms of services. Um, of everything. But, I don't personally mind playing against a, reincar a 40 reincarnation hacker. I do mind playing against Admiral Navy Bean, because that's stupid. What's the point of it? It's not even fun. It's not even anything. <laughs> that's cool. I'm going to dish the card draw, because I just want a little more solid control. This actually gives us... We've been starting with summoning every game. <laughs> always summoning... I don't think anyone has someone propped our block yet. No, not even close. <laughs> it's not. We haven't blocked yet, right? <laughs> nope. It's just been summoning, and we should win the trade against it. Hell yeah! Oh my gosh, we got some science cards in this deck. Is this science? Oh, oh, do we got some science cards? Oh, that's a science card. I'll play it. Why not? It's value. You want this to be next to... It doesn't really matter which lane. Just don't put it in the middle. The show fry your deck option is out of stock. Will I still be able to show you my deck? Also, this deck kicks really booty. Exactly. So you can't add a new deck. Oh my gosh, we just got Abracadaver. That's the literally, literally the best thing. Literally the best one. Holy crap, that kills his whole, um... His whole chunk boy, too, is in big end. Oh, 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 I'm rapping. Screw it. <laughs> come on. Come on, man. Come on, partner. Come on, bro. That's not a good play. Bro. Bro, man. Well, did I put a barrel on the field? No, I don't want to, because then. In fact. Maybe I just wrath this so the barrel doesn't kill the Abracadaver. Is that stupid to wrath this? Oh my gosh. It also does three damage to face, so it's about as good of an, as an average wrath. Alright, well, that guy had enough. <laughs> I know, the RNG man, these these summonings. These have literally been the best summonings I've ever seen. <clears throat> So it's game four, right? Uh, yeah, those two will actually be one highlight. We'll put them together. In the highlight comp, we make him <laughs> Ohio P. I know Ohio P. Go burr. <laughs> exactly, guys. <laughs> that 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 P was straight out of Ohio. I don't think there's any way to even argue on, on that. Oh, in honor of these amazing summonings, guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's been a bunch of people buying these actually. I think we've had so like 30? 30 months? <laughs> Hell yeah. Guys, gotta get your mug mug. Gotta get your mug mug. I'm gonna not keep binary stars my starting hand. If we, you know, mulgan into it, it's okay. This is too many teleports. I, I, maybe there's no such thing as too many teleports. Oh, that's man good. I think two con man for this deck is too much. Oh, that's a trickster. Keep that. I'll spam this on one. We'll go for the bungee, I think, on two. What lane does this go in? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm playing around Bog next turn by not putting this on the ground. It's nice against smarty heroes that you're in lane one or four, so you don't get as badly shrinking violet. What is this guy doing, though? Shellery into con man, really? Hmm, I feel like losing trades today. Well, that's nice, Johnny. There must be some justification for that that we're about to see.
Why? I, I don't even know if I spend this bungee plumber. This guy just hates con man. That he's spending Admiral Navy Bean. And Shellery. I don't even know if I bungee this. Maybe I'll just save the bun. I don't need this, this con man. I don't need it. Screw it. Pets. <laughs> this guy's running Admiral Navy Bean. I'm gonna hold on to my... I'm gonna hold on to my bungee plumber. Believe you me, I'll hold on my... Hold on to my bungee plumber. What is this guy doing? This guy has just... Obsessive gotta front the minion disorder. Some people, they just have this instinct that if your opponent plays a minion, you gotta put it in front because you don't want to take damage. No, with this guy, he's probably running um like go nuts with the team ups. And why, why is he running Shellery and Admiral Navy being in the same deck? I guess we just go for Bungie. There's no need to, you know, this teleportation zombie might be the, the key to teleporting in these tricksters. Let's just pass, man. <laughs> Was that a fail? Fine, that's a fail. It's going in the fail count. We're full of highlights. Now what? Pass City. If we draw into a... Uh, that's okay. Um, this might be the best use of these of these Ohio dancers. <laughs> no, no, there is there is Cosmic Dancer. We can't we can't get it confused, guys. Nailed it. Plus now we only ping his block meter once. So that's good. It's the first game I think we didn't start with summoning, by the way. This is a miracle. I guess we burn teleport here? We could teleport in Teleportation Zombie and Bungie and then teleport in a Trickster next turn. That should be a fine play indeed. Let's see what we get from the teleporter. This guy, man. This guy, he's trolling. This guy trolling. He doesn't even... This guy is not. Uh, we go for the card draw now. And we always bungee this. Because now we can just teleportation zombie trickster. He turns in a row. He's just trolling. This isn't real. This isn't real. Oh no, we screwed it up. It's these two into, into tricksters next turn. We actually delayed the tricksters a turn by not playing teleportation zombie there. Okay. This is a guy, there's no way this guy is rank 23. This guy gave his little brother his phone. And little bro is just dicking around. He's just like, playing cards. I literally, I'm literally playing, I'm not trying to diss anyone. This, I'm literally playing against a, a five-year-old kid right now. Uh, <laughs> I'll count the game for the bets, but... Just so people don't do this to me on purpose is the only reason why. But yeah, man. We'll go for the trickster now. He's got cool beans. At least he knows what the cards in the game do. He saw I saved that cool bean for... Uh... Oh, hi. I'm going to put this in mid because I don't care. Saving it for Ohio. Got a minnow. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter lanes. The lanes don't matter. We got two teleportation zombies on the field, so this trickster's gonna come in pretty hard. I don't even want a binary anymore. I don't care. I don't care. <coughs> come on. Somehow he conjured an Al and an Astro Bear. I don't know. Oh. Get frozen. That's a good bounce. That was a pretty good play. <laughs> Everything else I saw was pretty damn good play. Straight from Ohio. Uh, we'll play on blow, so we'll do this first. I just I'm I'm just trying to get out of this game. He's got a blow lane four. It's gotta be a lucky blow. Super don't do it, and big don't do it. You're a use freeze. And that was a breeze. Play around bring man. I ain't playing around anything this game.
My six-year-old son can play this game. He play. He knows what all the cards do too. But yeah, it's. This is basically like how he plays. Like he doesn't really understand like trying to trade and make good trades, but he understands what all the cards do, just from experience. And uh, yeah, man. <coughs> but he doesn't just like to do the math where the, well that does has three health, and this one has two damage and only one health, and then Con Man beats Shellery. Like, like it just doesn't it doesn't add up. It's it's hard for young kids to do that, man. I mean, an ironic series. Now that was that was literally reminded me of my son playing this game. <sighs> it's the same guy? No, it's the same guy. Whoa, 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 I have to mulligan, sorry. Ah! Against aggressive heroes, I can't really keep your card draw, you're gonna die. This is the same guy? His name was Antho Andre. No, this is a completely different person. I feel like Joaquin, though? I feel like we- I know that's not how you say it, it's Joaquin. I feel like we played against this Joaquin fella. Maybe it was offline I played against this guy recently. Yeah. I think I played against this guy offline. No, we have not played against Joaquin yet. Akim, I don't even know. It's the guy who played Joker. What's his name? It's Wa Joaquin. I don't know how to say it. I don't remember. <laughs> the chat's gonna be going in all caps now. It's Joaquin. It's it's Joat. It's I don't know. Just tell me how to pronounce it. It's Joaquin, right? Joaquin. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. Oh, our first Eureka of the entire stream. Let's go. You know who's straight out of Ohio? <laughs> this guy right here. Professor Brainstorm. He has an invention to make a fork that doesn't have to lift his hand and it puts food into his mouth without moving a muscle. That is some Ohio shit right there, man. <laughs> God damn it. This is why we're running Con Man and uh, Barrel, I guess. Barrel should be fine. It also weakens the other card he plays here. And if he just goes Photosynthesizer, he's not really gaining much tempo. Probably tell me how you felt after being a child. I don't know, it's kind of boring. It's Yakin, Really? No, it's not Yakin. That's with a W, right? Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix. Okay, I'm asking Google. Screw it. Pronouns. J O A. Here, walking. Let's go. You guys ready? An H sound. Oh, I've already looked this up. <laughs> I'm in the middle of this YouTube video because I've already looked this how up. How to pronounce these name? How do you say it correctly? Well, in Spanish, it is said as. Joaquin. 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 is in Spanish. It's a Spanish that name. I guess that makes sense. Syllable because normally there's an accent on the I there. In English. Guys, that settles it. It's Joaquin. Joaquin. <laughs> it's Joaquin. It's like Juan. You guys know how it goes. Now we got a bunch of that. Got a bunch of that for sure. Mm. We could have played this, but you can never let Podfather set, Podfather set up. I'm a crazy playing that dry on turn three against Brainstorm, but so many answers. Uh, yeah, so we'll probably wrap Eureka here. Hopefully, it doesn't go crazy with the peas here. Yeah, I know, I, I was ripping that guy, but whatever. Oh no! <laughs> Did I wrap? Do we even wrap this now? We're always Eureka here, right? There's no chance of not Eureka. So, we'll start with that. We got pot, got this, and we got uh, oh, line dancing zombie with binary could be good. I think it, the two two hitting is not a big deal. I'd rather the two two hit now and not this this other one hit next turn. Let, let's hit him with the wrath. Spanish lessons with pride, exactly. Yeah. That name ain't straight out of Ohio. That, that 
That name's straight straight out of Guadalajara. That's where it's straight out of. Nothing to do with Ohio. Is um is is botanist? Is botanist the play? <laughs> botanist Wrath? I like it. I'm gonna put this here. This is just gonna give us free superpowers. For the rest of the game. That's gonna make a pretty good trade here, so Wrath should be fine here. If he puts a big <laughs> it's saying if he puts a big guy in the field, at least uh it doesn't hit here, but it looks like that one does. Yeet. Eat like a slice of feet. Please don't roll three. Yes. Ow. God damn. This guy's rolling once. Like no one cares. I'm gonna do this next turn to kill this card. Should be fine. So two one three looks good. I mean maybe I, I have to play around plant food though. He would have to have plant food and time to shine or rumble to screw this up. Alright, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I don't feel like dying right now. Playing around plant food. Blockbuster one would be stupid though. <sighs> okay, we're still alive. <coughs> Let's see what these uh, little Ohio dancers can do. God damn it! So we'll wrath this. We'll we'll do the final mission next turn. It's a little more flexible. We're okay here. We uh, we don't really have a trickster though. No. This game is not going that great. This might be the first loss against Normie Grass Knuckles. You know this is my fault by the way. This is a hundred percent my fault. I was. <laughs> Yelling at the world that I'm gonna run Pogo Yeti Mug until everyone runs Blockbusters, and you can't get away with it anymore. Honestly, I don't think Pogo Mug is that good because everyone and their grandma runs Blockbuster. It's not even good. So we go with this. I might as well play. Oh, do we play into five, six, seven? I mean, this is the play, right? And we'll final mission. I'm just gonna Gatling. Honestly, we survived the Gatling, if that's all he does. Gatling 5. Okay. Just just slow down a little bit and we'll be fine. Yes. So this still works. Uh, do we final mission right now? We're so low, man. I, this, this is probably necessary. Just because Gatling automatically wins the game. Plus, you know, Difference between five and four health might end up making a difference. We're in really, really bad shape, man. I should have thought about pot potting just to be able to get a chance to get back in this game here. So now, well, we'll, we'll teleport this in in front of something. I guess that's a play. It's okay. And we'll draw cards. Honestly, we're not we're not out of this game. Not yet. Put this on heights to play around the eventual rumble. <laughs> we theoretically have card draw too, which is cool. Now, double binary means this splashes and kills our field. So, 2 2 5 looks good. I'm gonna play this dry. And we have a final mission, you know, just in case. But drawing three cards would go a long way here. It's like we're gonna have to final mission. So it's final mission. Like this, yeah. It's brain dead play. Um, Rumble does not win. Time to shine. Block time to shine wins. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. So it's. Rolling, oh, roll the one. Take that. Here's two. Guys, we actually are still in this game here. There's some card draw. See, Rumble wins if we don't play a minion. We also might get like a bungee that kills something here from this card draw. Let's play for that. I'm being trolled. So here it's car. I know that this looks juicy, but we we really want to develop more here. 
We got the bun. This is a lot of bungee. This is a lot of damage. This is a ton of damage, and his rumble does not win. I'm, I'm gonna actually. I know this bungee goes a long way, but I really don't want him developing anything. His rumble doesn't do a damn thing. So we got 12. In fact, is that guaranteed lethal? Well, it's close. Wait, if that bungee went face, it was guaranteed. There's wrath. So I'm just gonna play this. He has Gatling combo on standby and he's trolling me. Gosh, for real? Boom! That does eight damage, I think? No, it does four. Did that barrel just, just ruin my life? If we get a bungee plumber, we win. Otherwise, we lose. That barrel actually let him clear my field. No, that's gonna be it, guys. Too bad. We almost came back and won that. He didn't have anything. This guy had garbage. Why he's running pot fighter? Pot bothering me. All right, we're five and one. If I don't play Barrel, though, he would—he would have been able to listen. He would have made the same play. He would have gone Pod fa Pod Father, and then play Black IP, and then go face for. He played um. He played Plant Food, not Time to Shine there, right? Maybe it was Time to Shine. Would we have won? The barrel just killed our whole life, though. And didn't kill. Honestly, without Bodyguard, we win with Wrath to Face. That was a fine play, because my idea was, even if somehow he kills that barrel, Wrath goes to face, so at least he's absorbing his resources dealing with my field, and he can't kill us until the attack phase, in which case we win. So, no regrets in that play, but yeah, I guess Bodyguard was the answer. Bodyguard bonus attack was a, I mean, think about how many things even make him win there. I guess a Gatling combo in 5 would have been good, but he didn't have a ground lane open. That was crazy, man. Anyway. That was a very clutch Bodyguard. If we would have top decked exactly Bungie from that pot. That pot was drawing so many cards. Pot sucks. Too expensive, man. Okay, so here's Citron. Um, these cards are not as good because of Drinking Violet. I'm gonna ditch these. I'm gonna keep. Well, do we keep Barrel? It's a little bit sad not keeping Barrel. It's good against Forget Me Nuts, which is the strongest card against this deck. Let's go with this. Yeah, I know. Should have played around Bodyguard. Time to shine. I think it was time to shine, right? Anyway. <laughs> So that's cool. Do I save this? It's interesting because the 50% chance of clearing this, 50% chance of doing nothing except charges block meter. I think I'm gonna hold off on that. We might need these for a final mission later or something. Yeah, we don't really have any tricks though. <laughs> With these two tricksters in our hands. We have one trick. Okay, pass turn two. Give this man a counter drawn deck list. Okay. There's some card draw. If he passes again, we'll go for it. Okay. What are these games? Who are okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, now we're doing the butt. Guys, I'm doing to this guy what that brainstorm did to me a long time ago. I'm gonna. Double, I'm gonna back up Dancer's double final mission with a binary stars on the field for 16. We just need a bungee to finish it off. What is this guy doing? K? Do I fruitcake? Screw it. I'm fruitcake. I'm gonna spam one of these. We don't have any teleports anymore, but I'm just gonna spam one of these here. Oh, there's a teleport. Try you forget my last bits, but I love giving you bits anyway. Thank you, Toko. Much appreciated. No, wow, good two for one. Huge. But we're just gonna be teleport binary into this play. <laughs> the tricksters. Oh my god, guys. I think we need more final missions. We don't have enough. I 
I'm just disappointed. I'm gonna play around Blockbuster and put this in lane one. Here we go. <laughs> Guys, it's happening. So this will be 16 damage. <laughs> this is crazy. Should I play this one? It's one, two, three. I guess I'll play Teleportation Zombie. Because why not? It, it does the final two damage if he blocks this lane. Uh, I guess, well, it's playing on Blockbuster, technically. Oh no, he has ten! <laughs> Hold on, so does this win? No, I need to kill this one now. God damn it. Well... Bombs away, baby! <laughs> The trickster just wins, right? <laughs> I can't not do this play. This is the this is the point of of everything in life. We I finally have my revenge or my I don't know what it is. It's something. Finally have my something. We still need one more final mission, guys. I think it's just trickster trickster here. Final mission to face. I know I could have gone face there and win, but but what fun would that be? <laughs> that would be no fun at all. Is this guy gonna dragon? This guy's like Tali gonna dragon. I'm putting this here to play on dragon, so he can't kill it. He has to block lane one. <laughs> Tomb trim. Okay, great. Five costs killing. Him. I don't know. I played that for three. I don't even remember. He is protected! <laughs> he takes actually damage from the gun. <laughs> Come on, guys! The grand finale! <laughs> Which one of these do I even get rid of? In case he blocks, I think I'm gonna hold on to the con man. Yeah. Con man's better here. It does direct damage to face. I'm not... oh, actually, no, this does direct damage too. Actually, I could pass and win. Uh, right now, if I take a nap, I win. We go one to face, and then he draws the card. God damn it. Okay, now we're doing this. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> you guys remember the highlight comp? Come on. I don't remember which one it was, but... It was, like, number five, I think. It was the one with the Quasar on the, on the thumbnail. Bro, just go. <laughs> See, the thing is, too, is that if he keeps the card, the con man kills him. So you have to get Mog and use it on the con man, and then Trickster straight up wins, so. This is guaranteed lethal. Don't quit! I need a final mission in your face! Well, I'm glad we at least did the meme one time. I'm glad we did <laughs> Wow, is that the intro now? Hey, that's the intro. That was game. Good game, Joaquin. Joaquin. Uh, that, that settles the bets, too. I think that's going to be the, the intro. Um, is that that? That intro was straight out of Ohio. Yeah, the answer is yes. <coughs> Congratulations to the 69% who voted yes. Nice. We'll play one more game. Guys, this deck was brutal, and the one game we lost, we were him not having a body gourd away from, from wrathing him in the face and winning, so yeah. And a come from behind victory. How did we get so far behind in that game? Oh yeah, because he was spamming Gatlings at our, at our face. He was also a Gatling P away from winning, but we won't talk about that. Oh, whoops, I messed it up. Oh, it was turn... Seven? What turn was that that we did the final mission thing? Teleport binary, it was turn seven. Oh, uh, what about this? Uh, I think it's fine. <coughs> I 
I said the games would last long. I didn't know this deck would be so efficient. I had no idea, guys. Yeah, let's we'll pass. No need to rush here. I'm not really sorry. I'm gonna try Keratops. What's with all the under rank 30s today? That's the real question. We could teleport in barrel if we need If that's what we need to. If not, we'll just pass. Bro. Ow. I'd like to do one damage to this this turn so we can splash it next turn. Yeah, that's rough. We could teleport and look for our, uh, look for a bungee plumber. It would go a long way. We'll look for fruitcake, too. Alright, let's go for it. Uh, that doesn't do it. We can always wrap it now next turn. So I think he'll just do this and save the, the back of the answers. It's strong though, because he can set up a huge field here on turn four. Just some garlics and walnuts. And he doesn't. <laughs> it's useless. So now So now we do this play, this and rat well, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Well, I guess this one's still more dangerous, right? We'll just do it like this. Screw it. <laughs> Easy way of dealing with the three nut. The most unimpactful three nut ever. He makes Dark Lord have three health. Bruh. So we'll just pass. We'll probably just wrap here. Honestly, if he doesn't do anything too scary, maybe I'll just teleport in binary. <laughs> I'll probably just wrap. Bruh. Damn. That's a strong ass player right there. Binary stars doesn't really exist well here. So we could wrap the Starch Lord. Someone dies though. I mean, this is cool. Huh. <laughs> people are Starch Lord. Copy pasting, but you did it three times, so you can't do that. That's not considerate. Spamming the same meme three times? Cringe. Cringe, bro. We're doing five damage, decent amount to his face here with that wrath. I don't have an answer to this yet. Ooh, so we could just binary bungee. Uh, I think that's what we're doing. Uh, please no blockbuster. <laughs> No, blockbuster. Oh, no, 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 no. It was that that moment he knew. No, 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 no. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. It doesn't kill binary stars. I am a okay. Ao gooch. Damn, we're doing so much damage to his face. We're doing ten. Ten guys. Die. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, so we could trickster. Trickster in three. We could teleport in the trickster. I don't know. We need a leap! We need a leap! Teleport in the trickster. Thank you, Frymily. Welcome to the Frymily. How is that your first time subbing? Frymily has just joined. It's it's crazy. It's the Frymily section. I don't even God damn it! Wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> Just pulling out wing nut out of his ass. Damn. Uh, it happens to be this card right here. We don't want to splash our board. That would be bad. But this actually kills the uh, the eight two. So better than nothing. Yeah, we need our fruit cake really bad. So card draw wouldn't be bad either. We're, we're, not, we're not in that good of shape here. Just like that. Not very good shape. I wonder if I should go face for six, because I don't care. I could actually play Trickster, kill this one, and then blow him up. I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's the play. That's actually a really decent play. Yeah, let's play. Let's play. 
Like this, this barrel is so impactful because not only does it block this lane, it kills these two little buddies, but it does one damage to the wingnut, so that dies. <laughs> hate wingnut. Such a silver bullet card. I guess it's okay. Uh, Alright, well, I feel like we're gonna end up with a double binary trickster 24 damage and one shot combo here. But I'm no doctor. Gosh, he's healing. <laughs> I think his decks are pretty good. He's running Wingnut, he's running heals. Pop and pop. Holy crap. He's running a lot of things that we just don't. We don't answer. What is he? Is he setting up Walnut Bowling? Probably. I just want Fun Dead Razor right now. I need to. I feel like I have resources. We could go for the double. This does 24. I don't know, I guess I'll just pass. Well, that bowling doesn't kill us, so it doesn't also prevent us from doing this play. God damn it. Smart. Very smart. This is rough. He's got that full block meter, too. It's definitely not the position you want to be in with a trickster deck, man. Who's that? He hasn't really shown grave removal. We're not gonna play around that. I don't know where this goes. Where's the OnlyFans? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what kind of content people would actually want to see on OnlyFans. You know what? Let me worry about the new variety channel. And we'll do the OnlyFans. After. I gotta... I have a million things I have to do. The idea is to triage. There we go. Gosh, she's actually running bowling. That hurt. Ow. So we'll start by drawing cards here. This is rough. It's very rough. We need a leap! We need a leap! Glad to see Yaw still keeping that weak stuff out of here, Fry. Nice to be back, C. The problem is if we get Urea, thank you. We already got did backup dancers, right? So there's a two third of three of out three chance that this just kills us. There's no way to play two cards here, man. This sucks. Final mission doesn't do anything. We need to get summoning. We're probably gonna lose this game. We're almost for sure. If we win this game, man. If we win this game, it, there's no point in bunging here. We have to get summoning. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's happening. Wow, that's cool. I mean it's impactful. What's happening? He's not running grave removals. So I'm just gonna spam something here. Actually, binary trickster wins right now. I'm gonna play this because he's he's had removal. He hasn't had have had a block. He's also had walnut bowling, so we gotta play around that. He needs a guys. We should win this game here. If we come back from this game, if we come back from this one, it does, he can't even heal. He doesn't have more max health, right? This does 24 damage. Wait. Well, I'll do it like this. I'll bungee first. For the win! He, he blocked. He blocked. And he got healed. If he would have gone bubble or walnut, he already used his super. If he used bubble or walnut, he survives there. He blocks. He rolls the three. 24 damage combo. I don't even care. How did we win? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we actually won that game. Unbelievable. That's going on YouTube. I know where that's going. We actually won that. I'm gonna start uploading these major comebacks, these crazy decks we've been because we've been doing the kind of decks that make crazy comebacks with instead and with all this crap. 
We actually won that game though, guys. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Miracle. 24 damage with one trickster in that ball. Oh my gosh. How would I even put that in a highlight dump? You know what? I want to do an entire another stream with this deck. This was so much fun. This was mind-blowing. Remember the one game we lost to? Remember that one? <laughs> the, pot, the guy with the bodyguard and the Gatling piece? Should have been an 8 no stream, man. Holy crap. Alright, guys. I'm bringing this back. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, we're bringing this back. This was nuts. This was absolutely... I'm so happy. We finally figured out how to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I most certainly did. Have a nice day, folks. Peace. This is Fry.